what I've said this year in terms of goals is about survival. What is up everyone and welcome back to another Ref6 weekly vlog. So today is Tuesday the 1st of, uh, 2nd of August in fact. And what we're doing today is we're preparing for Saturday, first game of the season. Um, the fixtures came through yesterday and I've only just got my first one through. And we are off to Worthing versus Dover Athletic at Worthing in the National League South. So my first game, I'm on the line, I'm at the National League South. So basically in this vlog, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through my training for, this, for the week. Because um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate some new pitch sessions that I picked up at this core weekend. So that's important that I you know, take what I've taken from that weekend and implement it. So stay tuned for them because obviously you can take those hints and tips as well. As well as what I'm going to eat, what I'm going to do the night before and the day of as well, because it's important that we start our preparation the night before as well. So I'll give you some tips and tricks as well when I get to the Friday evening. So first things first, it's a week of training. It is Tuesday today. I have push. So that means it's chest and tries, uh, basically, and shoulders. So it's push today. It's pull. No, it's pull today. Push tomorrow. Um, so it's back and buys today. Uh, and then it will be a rest day Thursday. And then I will catch up with you Friday for this um, sort of speed session that we're going to do. Because uh, I'm going to introduce you to my training partner as well, who is a new level four as well. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through my push session and then I'm going to go and see what the fixtures are for the rest of the month so I'm very excited as you can tell the season is back and I've started off with an absolute belter nice and local as well so I don't have to travel far but it's a ground that I'm very much acquainted with and used to and used to running the line to so let's do this stay till, tuned till the end um, because obviously you can pick up some tips and tricks from me and hopefully let, let me know in the comments if you think I missed anything or you know, there's something that you would recommend to me. I'd love to hear from you. So yeah, let's get this week absolutely smashed. Okay, so quick interjection of the vlog. We picked up our fixtures today. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I've got to get them up on Moas here. So on my laptop and I'm gonna input them in my iPad because uh, it's a bigger screen and I just like type on my iPad, it's like typing on a laptop. <laughs> so I'm going to input all my fixtures from one to the other and that means that my Ref6 is all done for the month, nice and easy, nice and simple. It means if I need to know if I've got a fixture later on in the month, if I'm trying to arrange something, then I can check the app rather than having to log on to Moas all the time. So yeah, this should take me roughly five minutes to get done and that's it, done for the month. Because obviously we're lucky enough to get our fixtures from all of August. So yeah, it takes five minutes. It's match day. It is the opening game of the season. Okay, so the time is 9.30 as always. I'm going to go for a pre-match walk and then I'm going to eat. I'm going to drive to the ground. The referee wants me there at 1.15, so an hour and 45 before kickoff, which is unusual for me. I've never got to the ground that early in my life. Um, as most of you know, I don't like hanging around the ground uh, early just because it makes me feel... I always start overthinking it. I'm like, oh, what if this happens? I'd like to get to the ground, do my warm-up and basically get on with it. So an hour and 45 is, is different, um, but that's what the referee wants. I'm the assistant today. It's not my day. It's the referees. We're being observed as well. So on the National League as well. So here we go. Really starting to test my talents of, you know, hacking out of this level after one game. We love to see it. So that's the plan this morning. I'm quite nervous, uh, but that will grow. And I'm sure I find ways to deal with that throughout the day. Um, so yeah, here we go. It's match day. Opening game of the season. Let's do this. The bacon and beans. Just gonna throw them on top. Also, a little bit of cheese on top. You know, because this is an English staple for all those Americans out there that think I'm a bit weird, but this is quite English, I think. Either way, it's something that I've grown up with. It's a nice pretty much for me. I don't tend to eat a lot when I go on the line. I don't like feeling too full because um, I'm not going to be expending too much energy. So, a little bit of cheese. And of course, we cannot forget, go for this one today, 
hot sauce. So if anyone out there like, owns a hot sauce company and wants to send me some, feel free. But that is lunch. The time is quarter past 12. I'm gonna eat this up, uh, listen to some music, and then pack my kit bag, because I, like I said, the referee wants me there an hour and 45 before, therefore I need to leave the house at quarter to one to make sure I'm there bang on time. So, eat this up. It should be enough for pre-match. I obviously have gels, a spare packet of sweets if needed. Wonder what the referee's gonna bring, if anything. So yeah, very excited, here we go. Now, so this is what we are bringing for a National League South game. Starting off nice and simple with shorts, match top. I've had to borrow this off a friend because it's the newish one, not the brand new one with the collar, just because I was getting a little bit anxious about it, about referees, you know, all looking the same and stuff. But I do have my white collared one here just in case. Box of tricks, just in case I've got everything. My bag, boots, two pairs. I've got the laceless ones, the Nike ones. A towel, because obviously I'm going to shower at the ground. I've also got my wash bag, warm-up stuff. Under Armour, because we all know I wear Under Armour spare boxes for after the game. Under shorts and three pairs of socks, because who actually knows? And I just found them all in my bag. So that is the stuff for today. So like I said, I'm just going to quickly pack this stuff up um, and then get changed and hit the ground, really. So if anyone wants to know, the new pre-match playlist is here. Uh, add comments down below about what you guys kind of want to hear. Um, I'd love to hear your suggestions as well. So yeah, pre-match playlist is here. I'm going to shoot off to the ground, uh, pack this up and shoot off to the ground. So I will catch you at the ground, hopefully, for what is going to be a great day. driving home from the game I enjoyed that very much so for the referee was good in turn for two reasons one for he has a very similar style to how I like quite laid back you know doesn't really like to get too uptight manages the game well in terms of personality persona and I like that but two the second point he gave me a lot of confidence on the line like just little things like when we gave a decision, he smiled and, you know, it just made me relax a little bit more. And that gave me, without, I don't know whether he meant it or not, but gave me confidence to be like, yeah, all right, I like that. Um, and I enjoyed going out of him because of that. The game was good. There was, I had a nice fan club behind me about offsides um, all game. I gave a couple of offsides. I think I've made some good decisions. Concentrate was very difficult today. Not difficult, it was hot, but you know, you're switched on all the time and it mentally is one of the, the hardest games I've ever done because you're so intense and you're so focused that when I got to about 80 minutes, I was like, mentally, I was like, oh, wow, I'm really having to find ways to keep myself switched on. But that will come in time. But, you know, 17, 15, 17, I can't remember the exact figure, I'll put it on the screen here. In the crowd, great atmosphere, just a good day out in the sun, two good footballing teams, nice refereeing team as well, really. Um, so, you know, I was very happy with it and I, you know, really enjoyed the day out. Like I said, I thought the referee brought the team together, which is obviously what a good trait of a referee is. Um, and that makes the day goes nicer. So I got my debrief with the Observer tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to meet my friends for their birthday, um, chill out tonight, nothing major. And then tomorrow uh, I have the debrief and then I'll chat to you after the debrief, I think, because there's no point chatting before. 
um, and then I'll basically debrief the debrief tomorrow and then we'll have a chat about how things are. Um, it's my first game at that level, like properly, officially, um, so being assessed will be good to put me in a, you know, a nice category of, yeah, okay, you know, I'm maybe slightly below at the moment or slightly above or bang on the middle. Like I probably think I'm maybe slightly below uh, to the middle. So we'll find out tomorrow. But yeah, very much excited for it. Um, I'm going to enjoy this evening. I'm going to relax. I've really enjoyed today. So far, so good. Bosh. So I've just come off my debrief. I thought it went well. The assessor said that I moved well, which was great. Four offsides uh, that he was all happy with. One tight offside as well, so that's great that he said that I got that right. Um, he's looked at the footage as well, because we do get match footage, but it doesn't get released till Monday. Um, so how I get that hold of that, I don't know, but he gets to have a look at any like major decisions and stuff. Um, so he was happy with how we were as a team. Uh, his A little bit of development point for me was basically, again, my flag when I was giving the throw, and it's a little bit too high. I just got to drop it a little bit. Um, to a 45 degree angle so you know considering it's my first game I'm very happy with the comments hopefully I get the report through tomorrow so we can have a quick debrief of that because that's the important thing to learn from these this year it's all about being a sponge and taking as much knowledge and you know I don't know how many what a good mark is what a bad mark is it's just all about learning this year and finding my feet and then we go again. So in terms of today, it's going to be nice and simple, chilled out. Uh, I'm not planning on doing anything, to be quite honest. And then back into tomorrow, which we'll be preparing for a middle next week. So a uh, totally new new day of training, but you'll see that in a, in a later vlog. So hopefully tomorrow, um, I'm at Ref6HQ, so hopefully we have the match footage for one and the assessment too. So fingers crossed. So this is just going to be go over a few short, sharp points from the assessment as well as my ref six stats. So we'll get the good stuff out of the way, uh, which is the ref six stat. So as you can see, 4.38k, which is nice. Um, a higher first half than it was the second half. And that made sense because I did mind the first half. It was um, almost a baptism of fire, uh, which is quite a high average. Nearly, you know, if I did two halves of that, it's 5k, um, which is fine. I'm happy with that. It was nice and straightforward easy stuff but the important thing for me was the sprints there are a lot more ambers and a lot more reds so if we look at a last season line here uh, roughly about the same sort of distance you can see there are a lot less different colors there are more yellows um, and less sprints so this is important for me because it's something that you know I means I keep up with the game and I am getting quicker so my off-season work is working I had a high heart rate as well in terms of 171 which is obviously a little bit of working hard but it's also probably a little bit of like performance anxiety in terms of you know my heart rate being high when i have to make those decisions you know you can see the one you can see the peaks here where i probably had to make decisions and that's fine um you know big runs you, that's always going to happen you're always going to get that sort of like nervous energy and that's quite clear and evident here but moving on to the observation report. So I haven't looked at this yet, um, but the debrief went quite well with the assessor, observer. Um, so it's split into three points, which is offside, support the referee, and generic skills. So in offside, which is obviously our bread and butter, our bit that we are sort of there for really, is, you know, there are two above standard expected which is great for me. It means, you know, I'm working hard and doing the right things as well as um, demonstrate effective time management to ensure it is accurate. I got uh, an expected, which, you know, I get, I don't really know how I'd make that any better really. Um, but the assessor said I was always correctly positioned as well with good concentration levels. That's great. As well as he also commented saying there were a couple of offside situations where the player was offside but not active in play and I sort of allowed the ball to go through to the keeper. This is obviously the incidents, but he's not written it down. But I know what the incidents were. He's given the minutes. Ball comes over the top. Uh, player runs through and it is very much going to the keeper. So the guy is offside, but Worthing would rather have the ball in their hands and quickly play it out rather than set up for a, you know, a long free kick. So, so far we're we're on, we're on. 
The next section is support the referee. So that this is looking at always assess the referee's position um, and view of events using eye contact and offering form. So I've got above standard here and there's a little bit of note saying that I kept good eye contact, which was important as well. And like I said in my debrief on the way, on, on my sort of like hot takes on the way home, it, I felt it was important to talk. Uh, I thought the referee was good. He gave me confidence. He smiled at me. You know, we made eye contact, smiled, gave me confidence. And that was, that was important for me. Uh, and it's obviously been reflected as well because he gave me that great, good, positive vibes. Um, two other expected as well, so which is good. So far, all expected. Um, it demonstrates an understanding of the laws of the game by providing correct advice and confidence to offer advice when required which is basically, did I give a free kick? And the answer is no. So it just goes in expected because I haven't done anything wrong, but I haven't done anything right. So, you know, makes perfect sense, I guess. Um, and the final one is generic skills. Um, I've got expected for the first one, which is clear, precise and confident signals. And this is where he's put my development point in. It's a minor development, um, which is means I get a seven, which is expected because it's not major development, which is six and a half, it's a seven. He just said my signals were clear and appropriate, but my only one is basically from my throw-ins, I was giving it two up here. And he said, just move it down a little bit and the flag becomes a lot more crisp and looks better and helps you sell the decision, which is fair enough. You know, we're in the professional game now um, and everything has to look right. You know, these boys on the Prem, the EFL and even the step one assistant, so the step above me, you know, these guys have that nailed on. So, you know, getting this crisp and stuff and that that there is the 1% difference. You know, if I get everything bang on, it, maybe it moves to above standard expected, you know, and that's what we need to look at. So for the next time I go on the line, I need to make sure that I need to drop my arm a little bit. That will be a force of habit, but I have to really focus on that. And I don't think we're being assessed, but I can ask my fellow lino on the day. Um, he said... I was well placed and able to run a lot and my fitness was good and he said that was of a high standard as well so you know very happy with those comments as well meaning my off-season work has has really come into its own now so overall I got 72 whether this is good or not I will I'm yet to know uh, just simply due to the fact it's my first one at this level I don't know compared to last year it was probably quite low but I don't know what this new system is um, what this new level is I'll have to wait for it to update on MOAS in a couple of weeks time. I'll be able to see my live position. So, you know, I am happy. It There was no major development in there. There was a minor development point, which is very positive in terms of trying to find that extra 1% that makes me different from everybody else, making sure my signaling is bang on because my fitness is of a high standard. So I've just got to keep that up as well. So 72, am I happy with it? Yes. Does it give me a little bit of validation that I can perform at this level? Absolutely. Um, so, you know, we move on to another line in a couple of weeks time. I've got a couple of middles coming up now, which is what I'm really looking forward to getting into. Um, obviously I'm enjoying my middles a little bit more, or I was enjoying my middles last year more than my lines. So I'm really looking forward to getting involved in that and then seeing where I am really. So that's been my debrief of the game. I loved every minute of it. The crowd was great. I've got a little bit personal points, but you know, you take that on the chin. I loved going out with the referee. I enjoyed the day. I thought it was great. The sun was shining. I'm happy. I'm really happy with how it went. Uh, there are pits to improve on, which is fine. Um, but we move. So thanks for watching this part of the vlog. I'm going to go off and, you know, just go for a little walk to recover for the day um, and then prepare for a game I have next Saturday. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. So that is that at the at end of another weekly vlog. Obviously, I'm quite happy with how the game went um, in terms of, I feel like I can survive at that level and a lot of what I've said this year in terms of goals is about survival um, and just sort of feeling it in myself that I can compete at this level uh, with the other referees around me. I obviously don't know what the other scores are. I've not looked at my live update yet, but that'll be for a couple of weeks time. After a couple of assessments, I think one just never puts you in the right frame of mind. So what is next for me? We go on to next Saturday, which is going to be during a heat wave, apparently. So it's going to be nice and hard. Um, we're going to go to Lansing versus Beckenham Town, I think it is. So a newly promoted team versus a team that only just stayed in the league through a playoff. 
I'm very much looking forward to it. We're gearing up for the first game of the season. So come join me next week for the Ref Six Weekly Vlogs. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you've made it this far, please hit that subscribe button. So as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe again. And I'll see you at the next Ref Six Weekly Vlog.